In Shortcuts a lot, it's pretty easy to create a simple scallop border, and we can do it all in a few simple steps. Now the basic idea is that we take some of the built-in shapes that are included with the software, like a rectangle and the circle. The rectangle will serve as a border base, as the circle will serve as a scallop top. We're going to accomplish this by using the duplicate feature. So in Shortcuts a lot, I'm going to show you how you can create these simple borders that you see here. I'm going to start off with a fresh page, and in my library window, there's a Shapes tab. I'm going to use this for the rectangle, and I'm going to use this for the circle. You simply add these shapes to your mat by clicking on them. So I want to stretch out this rectangle, and to do this, we're going to go ahead and go to the Properties window. I want the height to be 1 inch, and I want the width to be 8 inches. As far as the circle goes, I'm going to keep the height and width as 1, just to keep things simple. I will, however, move the circle over the rectangle, just exposing about half of the circle. Just a quick alignment, and we're almost done. I'm going to select the circle and go to Object Duplicate. Since the border is 8 inches long and the circle is 1 inch in diameter, I will need a total of 8 circles to complete the border. So I'm going to change that total column field to 8. As far as the horizontal spacing, I will change that to 0. Now something to note that the spacing can be set to a negative value even though that you can't use those toggle arrows to go less than zero. You can use this to get unique results. Since I'm finished, I'm going to hit the OK button. Now the final step in this process will be to select everything and go to Path Union and your border is now finished. As you can see, you can use other shapes to create unique borders. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did like it, make sure you hit the thumbs up on the video, and if you'd like to see more, go ahead and leave a comment. Thank you.